y'all. I don't think y'all ready for me. It's the lovely sweet tea on the mother freaking scene, y'all. Let's get into it. Your girl is here. What's up, y'all? Sweet tea's in the mother freaking house. Sweet tea in the mother freaking house. What's up to everyone? Sweet tea's in the mother freaking house. Y'all, I'm back with another B I D E O. And what does that mean? Another banger. And that's on everything I love. Man, y'all be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification button and make that thing go ding, ding, dong. Ding, da, ding, 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 dong. Hey! Shit. The fuck? Your girl is a character. You feel me? All right, y'all. Let's get into this video. This is a doggone um, video about this doggone app called Live Links. I don't know if y'all ever heard of Live Links before, but it's a dating app. And I used to get on that app and meet me somebody, especially when time went by and I didn't have no boyfriend. I'm like, oh, man, I need somebody in my life so i guess uh, you know and back then live links was popping everybody was hopping up on live links so i said let me see what this thing give giving you know so i got up on that thing and met me a couple of people had a couple of relationships off that app i say about two good relationships and um so but this one i'm gonna tell you about the other one i'm gonna tell you about later we're gonna put that on the burner but later, you feel me? Y'all better keep on coming back to your girl channel because she be dropping them. She be dropping that juice, that sauce, and that tea. All right. All right. So, all right. So, I met this dude from Orlando. I want to say his name. He had a pretty name, too. What's the odds of him finding out about who I am? I'm going to go on and say his name. Should I do it like that? No, I ain't going to say his name. Anyway, I met him, right? Okay, so he was nice looking. He had some nice um, kissable looking lips, some nice smooth skin. Um, He was talking what I like to hear. He wanted what I wanted, which was a relationship. He claimed he had been single for a while. He let me know that if push come to shove, if, you know, we get closer and closer he will relocate he told me how badly he wanted to leave orlando and come to uh tampa florida to be with me i said okay that's what's up you know because i was looking for i wanted a relationship super duper got dang on bad you hear me so i let him uh come down after a while he it, it didn't even take that long he just started wanting to come down real bad so i let him come my boy came with luggage and all that honey but trust and believe we talked for a while and um we got to know each other pretty well but um oh this is one thing he came down for the first time right with the luggage and stuff like that and um, i told him i wanted to go back and meet his mom so he stayed down for a little while and I, we traveled back up there. We took a little road trip, honey. I had me a car at the time, a nice job. I filled my car up with gas, and we went on about our business traveling up the road. We took turns driving, you feel me? We hit that road. So I went to meet his parents, his mom and dad. They had been married for years. You know, and you trust a man in so many ways when you know they came from good parents who been married for years, I mean like 30 and 40 years and stuff like that, so you thinking, all right, so he got to be a good dude, you feel me, so, child, that meeting with the mom and the dad, it went well, but he showed his ass a little bit when we was there, we, we left the mom's and dad house and we went to meet up with some of his friends, and he kind of showcased me a little bit, so I can funny around his friends, and I said, okay, look how you acting, and he said something smart, I can't remember. However, we, I overlooked all that. We brought it back to my hometown, and we continued in this relationship. Child, as time went by, he started showing his true colors, okay? Um, I helped him to get up on his feet. I took him around job hunting. He got him a job, okay? So he got that job and started coming and going. 
I noticed though, on his free time, he would he didn't even know um, our home, my hometown like that. He just kept leaving and going somewhere every day. He would dress up, put on cologne and all this stuff, take a good shower and leave. He had to met some some dudes that stayed like a street over from me. He had became very much friends with them and all that and started hanging out with them and whatever else he was doing in the streets, I don't know, but he kept hanging out. And so one day they all came up there, um, him and the guys, oh, I take that back. He came to my house with some girls in the car with a, um, what you call this thing? A convertible in the convertible. It was girls all in the car and he was the only dude. He jumped out the car because he had been working for a while too and had done got his first paycheck. Telling me he came to get his ID because he going to get his check or whatever. Or go cash it, something like that. So I said, why you got to go with them? What the hell are you doing with a lot of girls? You my man, you ain't got no business doing with no girls, hanging out with a lot of girls like that. And so I was like, I got a car, I could take you. He said, I'm good, I'm going to go with them. It's all right. Damn, and all that. And he went on about his business, okay? So, I felt some type of way about that. And he stayed gone for hours and hours and hours, okay? Okay, so that was that incident. Then another time, he, as he was there, I'm trying to sleep at night, and he up. And I went to go to the bathroom, and he got the door kind of barricaded. I opened it some, and he jumped and um, pushed it on on me and wouldn't let me all the way up in there. And I, and I saw a glimpse of what he was doing. I saw a pipe and some residue, like some type of drug he was doing in my bathroom, child. So I was like, what are you doing? And um, he was like, hold up, hold up, hold up, and all that. And he finally came up out the bathroom. I said, I gotta use the bathroom. He finally came up out of there. And um, had them cleaned everything up. But he was acting queer and stupid. He was like, um, man, I'm high. Man, I'm so damn high. I need to come up off this high. Um, and it was like 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. He said, man, take me somewhere to go get me a beer. It'll help me bring my high down. I'm like, child, please. Um, I ain't going nowhere this time of the night. And he was giggling and laughing and just, you could just see it. He was just high. And I was like, I'll be damned to myself. What have I stepped off into? I don't like no man who on drugs. You feel me? So, you know, a lot of things start surfacing about him. And um, so he stayed up. Oh, you know, real late that night with all that carrying on. And I went on and tried to lay back down and go to sleep. That was that incident. When I found that out, though, when the next day, you know, my dad, you know, rest in peace, dad. My dad passed away. But, you know, my dad was hanging around me and stuff like that. And I told my dad in secret what was going on. And he used drugs. And I want, and, and he not acting right. He got paid. He ain't even giving none of that money. He ripping and running in and out of my house. And I don't want him here. And I was like, um, help me, help me, Dad. I need you to take him back to Orlando. I'll put gas in my car and have you just ship his ass right on back to Orlando. So my dad did that. He was like, okay, you give me the gas money and all that and the keys and I will drive him. I'm going to go have a talk with him. So my dad talked with him and was like, listen, my daughter don't want you here no more and all that there. She said, y'all not getting along. You um, doing this, you doing that, and you got to go. So he, he came to the dude came to me and was like, please, and got down on his knees in front of my dad and was like, um, I promise I'll tighten up, I'll straighten up. I don't want to go back. I want to be with you. I want to stay here. Give me another chance. I promise I'll show you I can do better. And I was like, no, I don't trust you and all that. And so my dad said, no, nah, just leave it alone, partner. Just go on. She don't want you here. So child he went on packed his little luggage honey and my dad gave him a ride back up the road and i felt so free and so happy you know and um i had kids too i didn't want certain things going on around my kids and stuff like that too i was very protective of my children so he went on okay so as time went by he kept on calling me and begging me to get back with him and stuff child and um saying that he's sorry he you know disappointed me and did me the way he did me and when he come back if i let him come back he'll act right so me with my soft ass i went on and let him come back not right then i had to move into another house yeah because i was living in a house at the time i moved into another house and some months and months went by and he kept bugging and bugging me and carrying on 
and I let him come back. Okay, the second time he come, came back, honey, it was no better. Honey, he was back to doing the same shit again. Not the drugging, but he was um getting dressed up, leaving the house, staying. So, yeah, y'all, like I was saying, he had come back and was doing some of the same shit again. And uh, acting all funny and stuff like that. And I just didn't like it whatsoever how he was acting. So, um... Yeah, I didn't have to tell him. Well, I was letting him know. Oh, I missed the whole part, y'all. In the other house, before I told him he had to leave, yeah, that was a third incident. And that's like three times you out in my house. You know what I'm saying? Okay, he kept on calling this girl, his ex back in Orlando. So he kept, he was talking to her right in my face one day. And he was like, baby, what's up? What you doing? And you been all right and all this here. And I miss you so much and i'm gonna come back home and see you honey not honey but she, because guys don't say honey like that but girl i'm coming back to see you so i'm hitting him i'm like who is you talking to and he was like um man shut the fuck up don't worry about that and i was like i start i began to argue while the girl on the phone so he i was like you don't disrespect me in my house he covered up the phone i think he put it on mute he was like shut your ass up he was like I knock your ass out. He was like, don't keep on saying shit while I'm on this damn phone. I wasn't, he made a break. He was like, I knock your ass out like that. And so I said, ooh, you know, and I went on about my business and got out the way. I said, hell no. Nah. So that's why I'm so glad my daddy came around because I had done told my daddy all the things he had done did and that was one of them that he had to go. So, okay, back to the new house, like I was saying. So he didn't do, he didn't try me like that. The only thing he kept doing is leaving a lot, making money, um, working and not sharing anything. He wouldn't give me one dime. He even filed his taxes and never gave me one dime of that either. He just wasn't helping out financially at all. He was just using me basically. And so next thing I know with all his going, he had done met a female that lived around the corner. So he had done went to her house, child. And, um... Oh, he started hanging out around there, basically. But he came one day and let me know it's over, and he finna move in with her. And she was, she spoke to me. She drove him up there. She spoke to me and was like, how you doing and all this stuff. I didn't care. I wanted his ass about my house, so it was straight, because I had done told him he had to go. So I guess he found that spot there to go to. So, honey, he moved on. He took all his little junk out of my house and moved on with that woman. And I said to myself, I would never let this dude in my house ever again. Trust and believe that on everything that I love, never again. So he went on around there with her or whatnot. And time went by. I'm thinking they're getting along. And one thing he had took, let me tell you, while, well, throughout the years, I had done made a couple of sex tapes. You feel me? So um, he had seen them. Come to find out, he had stolen them. And he took them to her house and they were looking at my sex tapes together. Because how I know, child, before we get to that part, this is what happened with them. He beat the hell out of her. He even insulted, assaulted the ambulance people because he beat her. She needed an ambulance. Now, they came up there. They tried to assist her and he knocked one of them out. A ambulance person, man. What? Man, dude was harboring some some um some anger and some psychoticness that I ain't know about, you feel me? And um that's why he tried me. I saw that look in his eyes when he was on that phone with that girl and I said, Don't try me, nigga like that and he was like, um, get, get your ass you better shut your ass up, shut your ass up, I'll knock your ass out and all that <laughs> Y'all so he had them beat the hell out of girl. He blacked her eyes. He um he had her looking swollen bad. How I know is because she came to my house and showed me, took her shaves off, said, Hey, what's up? How you doing? You remember me? I'm the one, I'm the one that El, you know, I started to call his name, that he moved in with. And um he beat me up real bad. He even assaulted the ambulance people 
and all that. He pushed him down the stairs and he punched one of them in the face or whatever. And now he locked up. I was like, what? He, she talking about he took a whole chair because we was outside playing cards or whatever. He got mad. He picked up the chair and hit me with that. And he, and he punched me in my face several times. He just was beating me up. And um, they, they called 911 and, uh, you know, um, that's when he has insulted the people and wouldn't let them, you know, rescue me like they needed to or whatever. I was like, what? No, she was like, trust and believe, child. She said, and I'm, she said I work at a um, hair salon. And she she was like, ain't no way I can go to work looking like this. She had a black eye here and a black eye swole shut. Her eyes were swole shut. I'm telling you, when she could peek out of them a little bit, mouth was split up and everything. She was like, this this dude here done fucked me up. And she was like, excuse my expression. She was like, but he gonna pay. He gonna pay. Because every time you have a court date, I'm going to court. And I'm gonna press charges to the full extent of the law. I'm gonna send this nigga to prison or whatever. I was like, what? Really? She was like, hell yeah, or whatever. And she told me, and you remember your um, sex tapes or whatever? He stole those from you. He was around there showing them to us. I was like, man. So, yeah. I was like, ooh, really? So, thank you for telling me, girl. Yeah, so he got sentenced to some years, too. And I looked him up online. I was like, ooh, look at him, you know? I was like, damn, what? Yeah. So, child, I am so glad that I made it safely out of that relationship. And I hate to see something happen to, you know, a sister. You know what I'm saying? Like it happened to her. I don't wish that on nobody, but I'm glad it wasn't me. You feel me? And it could have been me. See? You know what I'm talking about? So, yeah, y'all. That's the way that thing went. Um, and that's who I met off of the dating app, Live Links. Ain't that some shit? And he had that walk. He was good looking. Pretty white teeth. Um, kissable lips. Good kiss. Um, all of that. He, he charmed me for a little while. You feel me? But uh, my boy was nothing. He was not S H I T. You feel me? He was a abuser, a user, all that jazz. You feel me? Um, a druggie, a alcoholic, all of that. So, child, and I haven't seen him since. I often wonder every once in a while about what happened to him. Um, I often wonder did he, when, it, when he got out of prison, did he come back to my hometown? I passed by someone one time that kind of looked like him, but it was like run down and uh, was uh, homeless and all that. I say, I was driving down the street, I was like, that looked like him. And I circled around and it was gone. And I said, they, that had to be him. That had to be him. The fuck? Yes, child. So anyway, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed the story. And everything. And I got some more juicy stuff for y'all. And y'all, females, we just got to be careful. Who Y'all be careful about them dating apps. Because, honey, you can meet some weirdos up on that thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm a part of another dating app. But I ha I jump I used to jump off and on there and never met nobody off of there. But you know I got a lot of dudes trying to holler at me up on that app. But I ain't met nobody. No plan on me nobody right now, y'all. I have been celibate for about four good years. I ain't had no man in my life. None of that, y'all. I've been single for about four good years or more, and I could be more. But honey, I'm gonna keep it like that. You know what I'm talking about? And then I had took my, uh, you know, the HIV test or whatever to make sure I'm straight. And I'm straight. I ain't got nothing. And I promised myself since I took that test and I don't have no HIVs or whatever, no AIDS or nothing like that, I'm going to keep it like that. I'm not going to mess around with nobody. Although I often think I want somebody in my life, but I just like being by myself, me and my child. You know what I'm saying? I had, you know what I'm talking about? But anyway, y'all. I got to get about this thing. Y'all be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification button and make that thing go ding, ding, dong. Ding, da, ding, 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 dong. Hey, y'all. All right now. Holla at your girl. It's your girl, the lovely sweet tea. 
and I'm what about this thing? Bye.